Welcome back to your program, The Digest. We are talking about sleep. This is as a follow-up to the ministration which was done by the great servant of God, Prophet Emmanuel Magandiwa, when he ministered to thousands of people who had previously not been able to sleep properly. There are a number of sleep disorders, and the common sleep disorder is insomnia. What is insomnia? Insomnia is when one has trouble falling asleep or when one has trouble staying asleep. You know, there are some people who are able to sleep, but they cannot maintain that sleep. You know, it's like a patient who is under anesthesia. You are given an induction drug and then you wake up in the middle of the operation. The operation is not yet through, but you wake up and you can hear all the things the surgeons and the anesthetists are saying. It happens sometimes in the hospital because the anesthetists have forgotten to add something to maintain the anesthesia. So even when we are sleeping, that sleep has to be maintained. But people with insomnia, the sleep is not maintained. Somehow the drug wears off quickly and one wakes up. He can't maintain his sleep. So insomnia, is having trouble falling asleep or having trouble staying asleep. And it's a major, major problem affecting millions, if not billions and billions of people worldwide. So what are the dangers of failing to sleep properly? I will start with the central nervous system or the neurological system. Poor sleep affect one's mental ability one cannot think properly if you have poor sleep. Your mental capacity is affected. Did you know that even among school children, children who are very good at mathematics and science, those are children who usually have good sleep. It has been noted that calculation or mathematics or dealing with numbers becomes impaired when you do not sleep properly or when you don't have enough hours to sleep. I remember when we were growing up, we were being told that as soon as you eat your supper, you need to go and sleep. And the excuse which our elders were telling us was, we need to grow. They were saying, go and sleep so that you can grow. But you know what? It was very beneficial to us. Why? Because like I mentioned earlier on, enough sleep makes your child brighter. He can perform well in class. He becomes very bright. He becomes very sharp with calculation, with scientific things. He can reason very well after having enough hours to sleep. So it's very good that we allow our children to sleep for long enough hours. You know, these days there are so many distractions for our children. There are so many computer games which they play, so many games on the phones. There is television. Some are watching cartoons even at night, but it's not good for these children. They need to have enough hours to sleep if they are to perform very well in class. So sleep is very, very important for the mental capacity to be at its maximum. People who don't sleep properly or who don't sleep for enough hours, they have a lot of mental problems like depression. They have a lot of mood changes. They are very unpredictable. This moment he's smiling and he's happy. The next moment he's just moody. He's sad. Or maybe he's now teary. This is all because one is not having enough hours to sleep. The concentration is also impaired. One who has not been sleeping for long enough hours cannot concentrate on one thing for a long time because the mentation, the cognitive function is affected by not sleeping. And in addition, this is a bit sensitive, but it has been discovered by the scientists. People who don't have enough hours to sleep, their reasoning is affected. And in addition, even their problem solving ability and attention to detail is affected. They cannot solve problems and they cannot reason to the maximum levels because they are not sleeping long enough. Furthermore, adequate sleep is vital for you to have a good memory. You can recall things easier when you have enough hours to sleep. And also, even your mood 
is changed. One is happier, one has more energy after sleeping long enough hours. So sleep is very, very vital to your central nervous system. Sleep also restores brain function. Did you know that when you are awake during the day, there are certain chemical elements which accumulate in the brain. And one of them has been named beta amyloid. And this substance accumulates in the brain when you are awake. And this is a very harmful substance. And when you sleep, the brain is cleared of this beta amyloid. There are fluids which start to move between the brain cells, taking away this substance. Scientists have discovered that accumulation of this beta amyloid will result in one getting Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's disease is a very, very terrible condition. It causes forgetfulness and it can also even cause death. It impairs one's life. And for those who have seen people with Alzheimer's disease, it's a very terrible life. They forget even their spouses. They forget even the day-to-day -day activities of life and eventually it will result in death. This is all because this beta amyloid has been accumulating for over the years because somebody was not having enough hours to sleep. So it's very good that we have enough hours to sleep. And also, you can appreciate the great work which the man of God was doing to these people so that they were able to sleep and they'll derive all the benefits of sleep. Sleep affects your immunity. Good sleep improves your immunity. While bad sleep or having not enough hours to sleep will impair your immunity. You actually have immunosuppression if you don't sleep for long enough hours. An institution in the United States called Carnegie Mellon University noted that people who had enough hours to sleep, they were not prone to infectious conditions. And they looked at even things like common colds and flus. And they noted that people who slept enough hours, they were not having recurrent flus and colds. But people who didn't sleep long enough were in trouble with these little conditions. They were disabling them a lot. So there you see that sleep impairs and boosts your immune function. So there you are, dear viewer. You can see the marvelous benefits of sleep. Keep watching The Digest. We'll be back after the break. Thank you.